Take a moment right here. Hey guys, welcome back. So I don't know if you noticed, but on my channel I kind of like do things in themes. I do it without even realizing it. So this week's videos are going to be all about how you don't need to have a lot of money to be fashionable. I'm going to show you lots of different ways that you can stay stylish on like a budget because I have done that for many, many years, especially when I was a student. So I went to Primark and I, I'm going to be honest, like I haven't been to Primark for a while because as a blogger we get gifted loads of things so I haven't actually headed down there in quite a while but um, I went in the other day and I was so impressed with like what was in there like I was legit in there for an hour trying on about 100 things because I didn't expect to like so much stuff so I hauled for you so this is going to be a Primark haul and Throughout this week I'm going to show you different ways to like style cheap clothes because it's one of my biggest passions like when I was younger like in high school one of my favorite things that I do in my spare time was go around the charity shops in my local area and like find like amazing pieces that I could like style and I used to love it when people were like oh my god what's that from and I'd be like the charity shop. There's nothing I hate more than the mindset that you can only be into fashion if, if you shop designer stuff. I'm one of them people that I will wear Primark shoes with a Chanel handbag. Like, I don't care. I'm like Joey from Friends. Have you seen that scene when he's like, beef, good. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. It's the same with, with what my concept is on fashion. I'm like, Primark, it's good. Chanel, it's good. If something's good, it doesn't matter where it's from. A price tag. Like, I really want my motto on my channel to be, a price tag does not define you. How you style things does. I remember one time through uni, I was working in one of them high-end bars in Mayfair. And I actually do not know how I ended up working there. But um, I used to work, and I was in there one night. It's, I don't, if you don't know this area, it's quite, like, posh. And um, I had a Primark dress on, and I was doing my makeup in the toilets. And my label must have been out the back of it. And um, there was this girl next to me. I was literally just minding my own business. And this girl next to me, I could. Sh she was kitted out in designer. I could see she had a Chanel handbag on and stuff. And I overheard her say to my fr her friend, "Oh my god, she's got Primark on." And I I heard it crystal clear. And I just didn't say anything. I just ca finished off putting my lippy on. And as I walked out, I was just like. I may have Primark on, but you look shit in Chanel. That's impressive. And I just carried on walking out. <laughs> she did. She didn't look that great. Money can't buy you style. It's what you do with it that, that counts. So that's what this week's mantra is going to be about. I think I've rambled on a lot. So let's get into my first Primark haul of this week. So the first item I saw and fell in love with, it's my favorite, always starting with my favorite, and it's eight pound, and it's this little cap sleeve maxi, and just wait till I try it on, because it's absolutely stunning. Like, it shows the boobies off in all the right areas, and it has a gaping slit at the side, so you kind of like are covered up, but then if there's like a boy you fancy, you can do a little cheeky slit at the side if you want. Anyway, I just loved the silhouette of this, and I think that's one of the main things I do when I go shopping. It's two things. I look at the fabric, like, is the fabric hot? Like, is it good? Is it good fabric? And I don't mean the quality, I mean, is it on trend? Like, in Primark, there's a lot of vivid, clashy prints. And secondly, the silhouette. Is the silhouette going to make me look fabulous, <laughs> basically? Like, is the silhouette going to flatter my figure? So that's exactly what drew me to this dress. Like... It, it ties in at the smallest part of your body, really key. Um, it's got a nice neckline, really elegant, not like, not frumpy at all. And it's got, I think maxi dresses elongate your body, but it's also got a slit, like it was ticking so, so many boxes that I knew that I was gonna like it. So let me try it on for you. So there's two ways I had in mind for this. This is the first way. It's very evening attire, like really Sophia's pair, paired it with some kitten heels, Chanel handbags, some gold jewelry. And this is an evening look. I love the way it pinches in here, like it's a really flattering place on everyone's figure. I really love the style of this. I thought it was super sleek, super simple, and I love the color black. Like, I don't think you can go wrong with it. It's so sexy. And like the fact that this dress is 
eight pounds and this is it pared down for like a daytime look I've just got my mini Zara backpack on so I love these boots they're so cool like I wear them all the time they're so comfy as well and I have and my trusted Ray-Bans I think this is a sick daytime look eight pounds eight pounds you cannot say Primark is cheap so the next one is super super cute and I know I said in last week's hauls that I wasn't going to include pinstripe for a while but I saw this and I just the cut of it was such a it was so cute so this is a dress it has a little strappy sleeves and this bow ties in front of your boobies it's actually not like a cut that I usually go for like calf length isn't really my cup of tea but um I just tried it on and felt like such a lady <laughs> that I had to get it. So let me try this on for you because it's absolutely adorable and perfect for a summer day. But like in England, I don't know what the weather's doing at the moment. Like one day is super hot and one like today is torrential rain. It's like, would, what do we as the fashion industry do with this? <laughs> it's confusing. So English weather, sort it out. So at this dress, I picked it up in a size six and it is 13 pounds. <laughs> How gorgeous is this dress? I just feel like so, such a lady in it. <laughs> That's not very often. But um, I just thought it was so cute, perfect for like a tennis event, I don't know. But I actually got these from Primark a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure they'll have something similar in there still. Again, pinstripes, I love pinstripes, very on trend this season. This little bow detailing is so cute. So the next piece, as I say, prints are always really important for me in Primark in particular. I really stay away from them brash, I'm gonna call it brash, I don't know if that's a word, but the brash prints in Primark, the, the tacky ones, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but if you know what prints are on in trend, like pinstripes trendy, gingham trendy at the moment, laces always trendy, like there's particular things that you can look out for that you know are going to work. Um, tip for Primark, probably stay away from the neon colours, <laughs> although neon can be trendy sometimes. But um, I just picked up this, I thought this would look super cute, it's got lace at the top, it's gingham on trend and then lace at the bottom, I thought it would look really cute with the Gucci belt. I need to get this Gucci belt, I always go on about, but I've seen quite a lot of bloggers wear it and I just thought this kind of style, just really simple black jeans or a black pair of shorts and then the belt around the middle, it doesn't have to be Gucci, it could be anything really. But yeah, I thought that would work really, really nicely and it was super cheap. Is it the price still in? Okay, so this is a UK 6 and it's £8, so bargain. So I thought I'm going to love this or you're going to hate it. I thought I could just pair it with like a standard pair of black jeans but I thought I'd do something different. So I have like a little Rara skirt on. It's from Topshop. Gingham top, Chanel handbag and yeah some gold earrings and, and I just paired it with some stilettos. I just thought it was something really different and I kind of really like a Rara skirt. So the next item are these pair of shoes right here. And you all know how much I love studs. Like I have got so many shoes with studs on. It's like the Valentino um, trend, I guess. But how amazing are these? Like I just thought they were perfect. New shoes to go with anything, and they screamed Valentino. And as always, I love it when things scream designer at me, and they're like next to nothing. These are um, sixteen pounds. And there's a UK three. I don't know why you need. To, you probably don't need to know the size of my feet. And I just I thought they were cute in the nude. Nude is such a good shoe. It can go with anything. And sixteen pounds. Like can you? Can I couldn't leave them for that price. They're so good. So these are the nude shoes on. As you can see, the strap makes them very very secure. So easy to walk in. And I just think the studs set it off perfectly. So the next item I always go for like skinny jeans, skinny trousers. You'll very rarely see me in a pair of baggy trousers. I don't know why, that's just me. I think it must suit my body type. This is very out, not out of my comfort zone, but very different for me, but I just thought this would look really cool. They have it in a array of colors, black, white, gray, pinstripe, so whatever color floats your boat, they have it. But I picked up these. Like, they're really baggy trousers, well, quite baggy, suit kind of suit pants, tie really tight at the waist, and then like kind of a suit pant down, like they have the, the line of the suit, so you could wear it to an office very easily. The fabric's really good quality, like it's thick, like it doesn't look like it's, how much is it? 15 pounds, like these, when you, when I tried them on for you, they, you would never know they were from Primark, they look so good. Like me and my friends used to call Primark Primani, and when we'd be like, oh where did you get that from? I'd be like, Primani. Because <laughs> you can never tell, I don't think you can ever tell that something's from Primark, 
Unless your label's sticking out. <laughs> so these are the pants on. I actually really, really like them. I never thought I'd be a fan of them. Baggy pants, but they're kind of cute. And I've just paired them with the Valentino Dupish shoes and Chanel. And this is a body also from Primark from like the underwear section. But um, yeah, you could wear it with a shirt, anything. I really like them. I might go pick them up in a couple more colours. So guys, that's the end of my Primark haul today. And please press subscribe because there's more. There's more affordable fashion Primark kind of coming this week. I'm not going to tell you, but stay tuned. I wanted this week to be very much about styling and how to style like cheap clothes so if that's your cup of tea please press subscribe it'll mean so much to me and if you want to follow me on social media it's at laura blair as always on everything come say hey on there and i'll see you i'm on a roll with these videos i keep doing like three or four a week like what's going on so hopefully i might see you tomorrow or the day after for another video bye take a moment right here feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun, feel the wind in my hair.